Hi, now that we have tried to understand the theory behind interfacing the relay, now let's try to see some of it in action. So I am following this exact schematic over here where a transistorized relay switching circuit is created onto this interfacing board if you can see. So here we have a transistor, then a small LED and resistor combo. Then there is an additional resistor which you can see which is going to the base of transistor. Then here I have a relay and here is a terminal which is return NC, common and NO. So the one beneath the red is common and the rightmost one is NO as you can see. I am following this exact circuit over here. If you can see here then this is a 2 pin AC cable if I just show it to you completely. So, this is my AC cable and here one point of the AC cable as you can see in this schematic is going to the relay contact here. The other point of the relay contact is going to a bulb. This is the bulb. Okay. And the other point of bulb is then going to the AC cable itself. So AC cable, these are, these are the two points of bulb. So one point of the bulb going to relay, other point of relay going to AC cable and the other point of AC cable going back to bulb. Exactly what we have seen here. And I also happen to have a bulb connected to this. I have connected this pin over here, which is pin number 12, orange one, to the base of transistor. And a very simple LED blinking program is in action. Now let's see the relay coil is 12 volt one which is provided on this supply. If you don't have this one or if you don't have any such kind of interfacing board then you can easily obtain the readily available relay interfacing boards which comes in market. Let me show you that in a moment. Now as you can see here this is a single relay module something like this will be easily available in local market focus yeah so it has got a 12 volt input line then this input is, should be coming from microcontroller and this is the ground pin so this is a single channel relay module again the same thing here you can see no written here nc written here the middle one is always common now in the similar way you may also find a two channel relay module four channel relay module or any such thing the logic underlying logic remains the same. Now what I have done is I have simply used a small blinking program on pin number 12 if you look at the code here. Now let's try to download this code and then let's see the output. When the code is downloaded you may also start hearing the ticks of relay. I'm not sure if that will be uh, audible from this distance of microphone but let's see now the code is being compiled and it's uploaded now the program has been uploaded into the board now let's see if it works now if you see here this power indication LED is on off and now I am going to take my microphone near to the relay. You may hear the sound of ticking clearly. This is my mic. Okay. Bulb is not turning on off however. Let's make some changes. It's not turning on because this is not connected to the supply. You have to remember very well guys this is the live AC supply going to be here. So if you are powering on your bulb, make sure you do not touch anywhere over here. Now before I power on the bulb, what I'll do is I'll just increase this delay to let's say three seconds. One second is too fast uh, switching period when it comes to switching bulbs. They might sometimes get damaged. For the purpose of simplicity, I'm also using a small bulb here so that all the experimentations can be carried out very easily. We are also planning to switch the same bulb on and off to Alexa as well. So the circuit and my setup is going to remain the same. Now 
I'm going to connect this to mains power supply and I have connected it. So now as you can see when the relay is on you have the audible feedback from here bulb is on. Getting it? Now I'll take the microphone back to my collar where it should belong ideally. Just a moment. Okay. Now this is my entire setup as it looks like. Now one thing is here, I'm using external power supply 12 volt to power on this interfacing board. So you also have to make sure the ground of ESP32 and this circuit is made common as you can see through this green line. Anyhow, if you are interfacing a board, a small single relay module like this, then it will have coil voltage, then input and the ground input pins. So here, focus. the ground should be made common with your ESP32 ground as well as 12 volt ground and the input should be coming from controller. I hope it's clear with you. We will be using the same setup. Maybe we'll connect the relay at some other pins, but we'll be using the same setup whenever we are experimenting with relays. Thank you for watching this video.